Call of Duty Infinite Warfare or Battlefield 1? Republican or Democrat? That's the first thing that pops into my mind when I see the immense amount of dislikes and likes on the game's respective trailers. And I think it's a very appropriate comparison, too, because everyone seems to hate Trump for whatever reason and praise Bernie Sanders like he's Jesus Christ reincarnated in human form. I don't really know anything about either candidate aside of what information manages to find me because I frankly don't give a fuck about this election or any other election for that matter. Why you might ask? Because barring the candidates I just mentioned, looking at the parties as a whole, the Republican and the Democrat party, neither of them care about us in the same manner that neither Activision nor EA cares about us. What never ceases to amaze me is the attention span of the majority of gamers out there. Like, is the attention span of 99% of the people out there that of a fucking goldfish? It's mind-boggling. I've said so many times in the past that nothing the gaming community does anymore will amaze or shock me no matter how stupid it is, yet every single time I've said that, something has come right along and amazed me in a way that I never thought possible before. People are praising the shit out of Battlefield 1, like it's Jesus Christ reincarnated in a disc, simply because of its setting. And they're all gonna buy it just because of that. They're all like, oh yeah, EA's coming to save us, it's gonna totally kill Call of Duty. Guys, you are praising a company that implemented all of these terrible practices. Season Pass, Online Pass, Overpriced DLC, microtransactions like you wouldn't fucking believe long before Activision did this. In fact, EA was known for its horror stories long before Call of Duty was even a big hit. If you guys don't believe me, just go look it up. In fact, look at the fucking image right here. All of these, all of these companies that EA has bought out and killed over the last few decades, we're all on the scene before Call of Duty became a massive hit with Modern Warfare 1. I'll bet you any amount of money you want, I'll bet you everything you own, that both of these games are gonna come out with all these exclusive passes, and all these extra fucking programs, and all of this overpaid DLC, and all of these microtransactions out the ass. And yet people just forget every single fucking time EA pissed them off and said, Oh my god! New coat of paint? I'm gonna fucking buy it. Here you go. To everyone who has this mindset, are you guys that fucking stupid? Did you guys even go to school? Well, you know what? No, that, that's not a fair comparison because school nowadays teaches you to be a mindless fucking idiot to the big machine, whatever the fuck that might be. But do you guys really have no working theory of mind, no fucking brain cells about you whatsoever? Like, really? All of those people who every fucking time they said, I'm never gonna buy another Call of Duty, I'm never gonna buy another fucking Battlefield, I'm never gonna buy another game by EA, 99% of you always fucking do. You just forget so quickly. Do you think I bought Battlefield 3? No. Do you think I bought 4? No. How about Hardline? Again, no. I've played Battlefield 3 on the Xbox when a friend of mine let me borrow it, but I didn't buy it. And I have not bought a Call of Duty game new since Modern Warfare 1. Everything after that I either rented or bought used. And I'm not going to buy either of these games. And neither should you. Don't buy Call of Duty Infinite Warfare or Battlefield 1. And yes, all of you who are like dying to play a fucking World War 1 game, you know what? Go play this game. It's called Verdun. Named after one of the biggest fucking battles of the First World War. I haven't played it myself, because I'm not really that interested in playing it. But those who are looking for what looks to be, and from what I've heard, a really damn authentic World War I game, this looks to be it. It's 25 bucks on Steam last time I checked. That's less than half the fucking base price of either of these new games coming out. And that's not even taking into account all of the fucking DLC and microtransactions that they're gonna fucking pump into this game, I guarantee you, both of them are gonna fucking do it. And the sad part is that most of you people are gonna happily buy into this. 
If you don't believe me, okay? If you don't believe me that they've pumped all this fucking DLC into all this shit, go to Steam, go to the fucking Call of Duty games page, and look up all the DLC. Add all that fucking DLC together. And, and tell me, you tell me what the end price is. I want you guys to type out the name of the game and the end price. Leave it in the comments. How much does that turn out to? A hundred? Two hundred? Somewhere in between? Don't buy either of these games. Because neither company cares about you, neither company's for you, they're both gonna rip you off. Even those people who are saying, oh, I'm just gonna buy Infinite Warfare for the Modern Warfare 1 remaster, go play the fucking PC port. It's dirt cheap. You're certainly not gonna be spending 80 fucking dollars on it, and you know what? The PC port actually looks pretty fucking good. It's not rocket science, kids. And if you want a real World War I game, go play Verdun. And that's all I have to say.